The Battle of the Little Bighorn was a pivotal event in what became known as the Centennial Campaign. On this day, Custer faced some of the greatest military leaders and strategists of the 19th century. It just happened that none of them wore the uniform of the United States. Chief Two Moons would later say that to defeat Custer, it took about as long as it takes a hungry man to eat his dinner. Chief Two Moons would later say that to defeat Custer, it took about as long as it takes a hungry man to eat his dinner. Today, people ask why Custer chose to make a stand on Last Stand Hill, when the truth is that Custer did not choose Last Stand Hill. It chose him. He had nowhere else to go. His immediate command had been destroyed so quickly that it Custer was on the offensive until the very last. When he reached the hill that would forever carry his name, he traded victory for immortality. His end was not like in the movies. Lakota and Cheyenne did not ride around and around him in decreasing circles. Some approached on foot, some fired from long distance, until finally, Chief comes in sight led a charge that would ultimately end it for that day. All five companies with Custer were annihilated. On June 25, 1876, the 7th Cavalry were out Thort and out Fort. The Lakota are charging. The Lakota are charging. The Long Knife are crying on the battlefield. <laughs> 